The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Raider Nation, former Raiders wide receiver Deshaun Jackson had some interesting comments regarding Devontae Adams. <sighs> this one's tough because, you know, me and Devontae, we've talked and... Uh... And? You know, man, I, I don't. I hate to do it because I don't want to be the guy that's like, oh, D-Jack said this and said that. But at the end of the day, he is unhappy. I mean, he has, he, you go from Aaron Rodgers, then you come to the Jimmy Las G. Vegas yeah. Raiders. And now not only Jimmy G, you had you had your boy Carr. I that's mean, right, Carr. It yeah. didn't really work out that you you thought, you know, from the from the uh, Fresno the Fresno State that's days, right. you think they would come back and work everything out. And it's just like it just quite didn't work out. So now I just don't think he's really that happy there. So personally, as Raider fans. Whatever respect we had for Deshaun Jackson is completely gone. You know, he was someone who is a former Raider himself. He grew up friends with Antonio Pierce, uh, him being from the same area as Pierce from L.A., and who's supposedly friends with Devontae. And to completely make up these baseless accusations that Devontae's unhappy in Vegas when we haven't necessarily seen that from Devontae. You know, he's someone who's not shy with his emotions. When he feels something is wrong, he... He has no qualms in going out and expressing it to himself to the media. And so if he was truly unhappy, I think he would have come out by now and really requested a trade by now. He wouldn't have hidden behind this curtain that is Deshaun Jackson going out in the media and airing his dirty laundry for him. Yeah, completely baseless, you know, accusations and claims that Devontae Adams is unhappy coming from a guy who flexes a Super Bowl ring from a team that he wasn't even on. You know, when they won the Super Bowl, he was on the Raiders in the playoffs, you know, and considerably he was on the Raiders in the playoffs competing, you know, against the Rams, essentially, quote unquote, for the Lombardi trophy in that as soon as you're in that playoff bracket, you're playing for another team. And then the other team that wins gives you a Super Bowl ring when you're not even on that team. I mean, this guy is just baseless, you know, to begin with. His career was respectable. We respect him as a player. But now the respect that we had of him as a Raider and, you know, once a Raider, always a Raider type, that's completely gone now, making up these lies about Devontae Adams saying that, oh, he's unhappy and, you know, that he 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 didn't expect this. Like, okay, yes, of course he didn't expect this situation to unfold the way it did. We saw on the receiver uh, Netflix show just a few months ago that he was irritated with Jimmy Garoppolo at the helm. Not saying Gardner Minshew is 100 times better than Jimmy Garoppolo, but – it might give us a better chance to see what Devontae Adams is made of this next season, starting with the Los Angeles Chargers just coming up here in less than two weeks. Yeah, and the one thing I'll add, too, is Deshaun Jackson added zero context to his comments. You know, I get it. Maybe Devontae did talk to him and say, yeah, you know, I'm unhappy with this particular situation. It could have been about Jimmy G. It could about could have been about McDaniels or trading Derek Carr. But he didn't add that context and say, oh, yeah, he's unhappy with Gardner Minshew or AOC, or Antonio Pierce. So th these comments could have been made to Deshaun Jackson months ago, or even years ago. And so Deshaun didn't preface it with anything. I think he's just trying to stir the pot, get his name out there. He's probably trying to start his own podcast, or get his name involved in the media. And so personally, I think that's all that we think this is. It's all speculation. It's all rumors. Like you said, it's all baseless accusations from a guy who we have zero respect for in Deshaun Jackson. But Raider Nation, we appreciate the support on this channel continue liking the videos leaving comments down below you know sharing this page with your friends and most importantly subscribing to our page it's completely free and it goes a long way in helping us we're trying to hit that thousand mark for monetization so raider nation until then see you guys